Now that we have looked into how exactly color grading of the fancy colored diamonds happen, we have to see the next important topic which is fluorescence. So what exactly does fluorescence mean? Fluorescence is the reaction of trace minerals within the diamond that cause the diamond to glow when exposed to ultraviolet light. So what do I mean by this? So every diamond stone or any kind of stone or any kind of mineral has a lot of different trace minerals inside it, right? And diamond also has trace minerals inside the stone. So when this diamond stone is exposed to ultraviolet light or blue color light exactly speaking, it kind of has a inside glow from it and this trace minerals kind of give a light or kind of a glow inside this light system and when looked under this light system we will be able to see whether if it has high fluorescence or very low fluorescence or no fluorescence at all. So this exactly is what fluorescence means. But why exactly are we studying about this? What exactly, you know, how does it matter if it has fluorescence or if it does not have fluorescence? It's not supposed to matter, right? But this matters a lot because this also decides the clarity grade and it affects a lot while taking a decision of pricing the stone. So for example, let's say when pricing a stone, it's very important to know the fluorescence of a diamond as well. Only then the pricing can happen very clearly. Let's see why this is very important. A fluorescence is very, very important because if the stone has no fluorescence at all, then it is given a much higher pricing range. And if it has very high fluorescence, then it is given a very poor pricing range. And why exactly is this? Okay, so I will explain in a very simple manner so you can understand more better, you know, clearly. Let's take a stone which is of uh, quality, color quality of J. So J is kind of, you know, yellowish quality, right? Let's take a stone of J. If this stone has extreme amount of fluorescence, if it has very, you know, uh, blue fluorescence, very bright blue fluorescence, then the color grader might sometimes, you know, get confused between the color range and give it a H. Sometimes the grader will not really be able to exactly identify if it is exactly J or H because of the fluorescence. So what we what do we have to note in here? If the fluorescence is high, then the color grade will also, you know, improve. And technically it is not the color grade is improving. It is just, you know, faking the color grade. It kind of makes us think that the color grade is improving, but the actual color grade is J only. The color grade will be J, but because of the high fluorescence, it will make it look like the color grade is H. And that is why some people will be paying extreme amount of money for the stone thinking there is a color grade of H but actually the color grade will only be J because we have learned that the color grade the higher the color grade the more expensive the cost is right if it's going to be D E F G H we're going to pay more money if it's going to be I J K L M N and something in the below category we're going to pay less money so if the actual stone is only J and because of fluorescence sometimes the grader might get confused and if he by mistake gives the color grading as H then we as customers will pay extra money for something that we shouldn't pay for. And that is exactly why many people and many dwellers and many consumers also think that high fluorescence is not good. There is majorly two things that we have to look under when looking about fluorescence. So fluorescence actually is good, you know, considered to be talking while looking at a stone. It is good in general terms because the fluorescence is going to improve the color, you know, brightness. It's going to give more luster and going to improve how nice and how white the stone looks. And what are the two things that we have to look under while talking about fluorescence? The first thing is that what color is the fluorescence? Is it a blue fluorescence or is it a yellow fluorescence? This matters so much. If it's a blue fluorescence, it's going to make the stone look more whiter and going to make it look really, really bright and improve the color grade. Not improve in technical terms, make it look like it is improved. So that is exactly why blue fluorescence is a good factor inside a color grading stone. But at the same time, a yellow fluorescence is not really good because it dulls down the stone. And that is why we have to understand which color is a fluorescence. So once we have understood this, we have to see the strength of fluorescence. Is it very mild? Or is it very huge? So this is a range of which it is there. So there could be either no fluorescence at all, which is a category of none. And there could be very slight amount of fluorescence. And this is known as faint fluorescence. We then have medium range of fluorescence. And then we have strong fluorescence. And then we finally have very strong fluorescence. So usually if there's a stone which has very strong fluorescence of blue color, then it is considered to be really, really good because it kind of enhances the stone color in a very different manner. It just kind of gives a very illusion that the color is improved and it makes it look really pretty. When is fluorescence good? Fluorescence is very good when the grader is able to identify the actual color of the stone. For example, if a stone is J color, he should be able to understand the actual color that is J and not kind of misjudge and understand the color as G. Because the fluorescence, the 
nature of fluorescence is to make the color look even prettier, right? That is what the fluorescence does. But the grader should be able to understand the actual color. So what is the benefit of having a good fluorescence and actually knowing the actual color grading also? A J colored stone will also look like a H colored stone and we can also, you know, pay very less amount to get the exact same finishing. That is why it's very important. But not many people will be able to do it very easily because it's a very hard task. Even the graders might sometimes get confused and might misjudge. And that is why a, a stone with high fluorescence is not really encouraged. But if the grader is able to do a good job by identifying the actual color, then this is really, really appreciated. So that's about it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video shortly. Bye-bye.